Hi guys, it's Adam, and today I've got the um, FBA video for you. A lot of people have been saying about FBA, can I do a video on um, showing you how to prep and list and all that sort of stuff. I'm no FBA expert, I've been doing it all of about six months, and to be honest, I, it, it is a sideline. It's not, eBay's more of a business for me now. Um, I do FBA when I can, send boxes in when when I can really, um, and I've got I've downgraded from the pro account to the basic account now, um, but I will be going back up to the pro account um, in fourth quarter. It's now July or August. It's start of August actually, um, and yeah, I will be going up to a pro account very very soon for fourth quarter. Um, so yeah, I've got a few items to show you first, and um, what I'm going to do is I'll take you through, through a few of the items, then we're going to go into the process of listing an item on Amazon um, in a shipping plan. And if you don't know what a shipping plan is, it's, it's very easy, it's nothing, it's nothing bad or anything like that, it's nothing really hard or complicated. Um, so I'm going to first go through a few items with you. Um, some of them new and some of them um, used or not not used, sorry, they're new but they're new books so it can be a bit like that with new books because obviously they're not in any sort of seal, well some books are but um, a lot of new books don't come in a seal so you've got to check for imperfections on new books as well. Um, so yeah, without further ado I shall get on with it. So I've got this here that I'm scanning in. Now, all I've done with with these so far, I'll just get this price sticker off here. So all I've done, that price sticker is on there, 275, and I just peeled it off. So what I do is I get all my items out that I'm scanning in uh, and entering into the system out on the bed. I like to do this in batches. I like to do batches of 20, 30, around that. So I wouldn't really go more than 30 because then... Um, I lose motivation, so I like to do it in the batches style, um, and then I whack them, them in the box, and then I might either get a new box out with more stuff in for FBA to enter in, or um, more things out of the same box, essentially. Um, so yeah, take, first off, lay them all out nice on your bed. At the moment, they're not laid out neatly, but, you know, they're laid out still. Um, and then I get all the price stickers off. And while I'm getting the price stickers off, I have a look round the item. For these are all new and sealed. Um, a lot of the items here are new and sealed. Um, and I have a look round the seal, see if there's any imperfections, see if there's any dirt uh, or anything like that that really needs to be addressed. Um, at the moment on this one, I can't really see anything that needs to be addressed. Um, this item doesn't really need any prep except for a label on the back, and I will show you how to do that later on. Um, so yeah, that, that's that one. That just goes down on the bed until we want to enter it into the Amazon system. So again, so yeah, again we've got a DVD this time, and I'm looking around the seal, I can't see any major attacks to the seal, or whips to the seal. There is a slight one there, um, and what I might do is still sell this as new, but say, um, very minor um, rip to seal at top right hand corner and then I might even put the measurements of the rip um, just because then I could I could get away with selling it as new and I wouldn't have to sell it as like new if that had been like a, a larger rip I probably would would sell it as like new but that's such a small rip that I, I may as well sell that as new um, so this one new and sealed but it does have security tag on the back. Now, um, I've been told by many people you're allowed to send them in with these on. Um, you probably could get it off, but it, it yeah, it would rip the seal. That's going to rip the seal. So, um, I'm just going to leave that on like that. I've not had any comeback. I've sent things in before with security tags on, and they've been fine. So, yeah, that's that one. And finally, I shall show you suppose one of these books. So this is a new book and as you can see it's not got much wear at all um, and to be honest I'm quite happy to sell that as new 
Um, but what I will do is palette wrap this in clear cling film and um, it'll just give it a bit of protection. You can also use bags, um, but I'm not an expert on using bags because I don't use them for FBA. So um, if you would like some more information on bags, I know Nick Hills does great videos on FBA supplies and uh, Michael Pierce's FBA course, you want to check that out as well. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And yeah, there's a few other items, but I'll go to the screen capture software now. So yeah, see you in a bit, guys. Right then, we are on. So um, right, we're gonna do. Um, we're just gonna sign into my Amazon seller account at the moment, and then we're gonna go to this tab up here called inventory. And then you want to go down here to add a product, so down here, and then just click on that add a product tab. Now this page will come up, ignore this big photograph here, um, and we want to go down to this uh, little search bar here where it says list a new product. Um, and then I've got my barcode scanner ready and plugged in, so we're going to scan the first item which is, I'll do this one first, which is the One Tree Hill Complete Fourth Season. So I'm just going to scan that in with my barcode scanner. Now also you're very welcome to type in the uh, barcode number up here if you do not have a barcode scanner. Um, there will be a link below to the barcode scanner I use and I can't recommend it enough. Um, so yeah, if you want to grab yourself a barcode scanner, just go down uh, in the description. Um, and then we want, with with we come across this page basically um, and here is the actual product now you might have a big list of products but usually if you scan in the barcode it will come up with one result but sometimes say I, t I were to type in one tree hill then a lot of results come up now where do we go from here if you want to type in the um, like a, a descriptive keyword or something like that like like we have now then you want to look by the picture and of course we know that this one's season four so i might be able to find it on this list and you can always go to page two down here and there we go that's it there one tree hill season four so you can even you, you can even uh, just search by keyword um, or product name as Amazon call it, but I'm going to scan in the barcode again if my barcode scanner wants to work there we go um, and yeah so there, there's the um, same listing as we saw a minute ago and then we just want to come down here to sell yours so we want to click this yellow button down here sell yours a new tab will open up and it will say add offer info now this page can look a little bit daunting when you're new to Amazon um, but all we want to do what I, well, what I like to do personally before anything is view Amazon detail page now I right click on that and open the link in a new tab and that lets me see the listing that's live on Amazon now what I do then is I go down to 51 new and used, just for new and used, to, to see basically all the different products being sold on this listing by various different people. Now we're only competing with Prime members, or well not Prime members, but Prime sellers, FBA sellers. Um, so I want to go down to Prime here, and then I'm going to select new because my item is new. Um, and I can see there the lowest price on FBA is £10.16 and it goes all the way up to £19.42 um, now I'm probably going to pitch it around this price here so I'm not going to try, try for the lowest but I'll be around the lowest because I know it's going to sell fairly quickly um, now also you can go back onto this page here and scroll to the bottom and you can see here Amazon best sellers rank that's your sales rank um, and sales rank is, a, is another topic on its own um, but I can see that 6178 in DVD and Blu-ray is quite a good rank indeed so I know that it's not going to be a really slow seller or anything like that so I'm quite happy to pitch it not at the lowest 
but maybe a little bit higher than the lowest so maybe 10.99 11.99 that sort of region i'm gonna go 10.99 i think and i know that will sell fairly quickly now is condition now condition on amazon is a hard subject you, you've got to make sure that you're you're describing your items condition as accurately as possible if it is a new product there cannot be any rips to the seal or anything like that now I will send in an item that has a very very minor rip to the seal um, and what I will do is I'll sell it as new and then I will put in this condition note here um, item has a minor whip to seal measuring measuring three millimeters or something like that um, but in this case this is brand new and sealed with no whips so I go new and sealed and then it's just worth putting at the end packed by Amazon just it just gives your customer that little bit of peace of mind that Amazon are dealing or are, are a part of the, the order process basically um, so yeah I, I like to put that now don't worry about this release date sale price sale date from sale end restock date don't worry about that don't worry about you your skew or any of that sort of stuff um, country of origin and things like that you're, you're fine to, to leave um, and obviously as we've said it's condition new um, and then this is this part is the only other part you really want to worry about at the moment um, fulfillment channel you want to select this bottom one now once you select it once it should stay like that forever but you just want to make sure that every time you list a product that you you know you are right to assume that that is selected um, so I want Amazon to dispatch and provide customer service for my items if they sell now all that same is that you're gonna send your item to Amazon basically if you select this top one that's a merchant fulfilled price so don't worry about quantity or anything yet um, just select this here and then click save and finish We'll just close down this tab over here because we don't need that anymore. So now you'll be presented with this page. Now if you haven't already, you need to create a new shipping plan. Um, and that'll just take you to the page you're going to see in a minute. But your page will have no products on. So I've already got a shipping plan. So I'm adding to an existing plan. And then I'm going to, going to choose the plan that I created um, most recently because I know that that's the one I'm currently working on so we're going to choose this top one here because that is the plan I'm working on and then you'll be presented with this page now I've got this big long list of products um, but basically you'll be presented with this page with just the product you the first product you have um, just scanned into the Amazon system and then you will start to build up a shipping plan with all the items I've obviously got inputted into it here um, now what we want to do is we want to go down this list and we want to find the product that we just entered in so here I can see it here one tree hill season four new and now this is where we want to input the quantity so in this little box at the side here we want to put quantity one now if you've got quantity ten don't put quantity 1 just because I said put quantity 1 put quantity 10 just whatever your quantity is basically um, you want to put that in that box over there and then we're, we're obviously on this page and this page saves automatically and then we want to go to inventory and then add another product so very very simple we want to close this tab down here and then we shall do we shall do this next one which is the Bruce Lee DVD so my barcode scanner scanned the uh, barcode in it these barcode scanners are great they really save a lot of time you don't have to be typing in the, the barcode number um, so yeah that's really good 
um, and then I'm going to go to this add offer info again and I'm just going to do this last one and I'm going to do it a lot quicker this time just to to see what it takes to to be able to to get the ball rolling you know you don't want to be doing these really slow but at the start I would recommend you to do them fairly slow um, but as you get into it you will want to uh, start to speed up so as I can see only new offer there 1999 so that's what I'm going to price mine at now I've already checked the sales rank on this one but I'm just going to check for you guys 37 in DVD and Blu-ray that's fine and then we're going to go on to this my price 1999 as we saw now this has no imperfections again so new I'm going to put in here new and sealed and if you're doing only new and sealed items, then I would recommend doing what I'll show you in a second. Highlighting this, copying this, and then every time when you go to another product, you can just paste that into the condition note, done and dusted. Um, so there we go, that's all done. We'll just make sure that the, the fulfillment channel is Amazon. I want Amazon to do it dispatch and provide customer service and indeed it is so then we go to save and finish again and sometimes it takes a minute to load but don't worry about that add to an existing shipping plan choose the correct shipping plan but you will know what what shipping plan to choose so don't worry about that and then we want to go down and find that product again so here we are Bruce Lee, A Warrior's Journey, New, Condition, again I've only got one of these so I'm going to put Quantity 1. Now, that is done and we just need to keep going and going and going, again adding more and more products until we haven't got any products left to enter in. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to pause the video here, I'm going to get my other items entered in, and then I will show you the labeling process. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute guys. Right then guys, so um, I've inputted everything in. Um, I'm just going to go to the next page now. So as you remember, we're on the um, inventory page, where you, the, the shipping plan page where you're building up an inventory. Um, and now we scroll right to the bottom, make sure all your quantities are right and make sure your products are in the right conditions and all that. Um, and then we want to go right to the bottom and click this button down here, continue. So we, cl we click that and um, there's something here that needs prep. So a lot of these won't need prep and for you guys probably all of them won't need prep if you are doing new items now this is a used box set um, now I use clear cling film and that's fine um, for uh, you know in, instead of poly bagging uh, clear cling film is fine and I actually clear cling filmed all of my box sets so um, they're all done so that's that's perfectly fine um, and you want to you want to select seller so you're gonna do the prep if you don't want to do the prep you can get Amazon to to do the prep but they will charge a fee um, so we're gonna select seller for now and I've already done that so that's fine um, and then we just want to click here continue you can you can always check into this all products here um, and Again, you want to click this apply to all seller here. And it, it, if you choose Amazon, it will give you a preparation cost down this side here. Prep cost. Um, and then after you've done that, scroll down the page um, and then click continue. And then this is the labeling product stage. So again, you can get Amazon to do this. I believe it's 20 pence a label, although. I might be slightly out on that, um, but the only reason I don't know what the price is is because I do all my label labeling myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, print off these labels, so I'll show you how to print them off. You click here. Now, if you've, depending on the labels you've bought, they will have 
21, 24, 27, 30 or whatever per page. Now the ones I buy, and hopefully I'll put a link below to this as well, um, the ones I buy are 27 per page. So I'm going to select 27 per page. And that just means that my labels are all going to come out fine and they're, they're all going to be perfectly aligned with the labels on, on the page basically. Um, otherwise if I ch ch were to choose 44 and there wasn't 44 labels on the page then yeah it's just gonna it's just gonna get messy so 27 seven labels per page on the 27 per sheet labels that I have and then we're just gonna click here print labels for this page very simple really and then a uh, download file here will pop up or whatever you call them I don't know uh, it's a PDF file anyway and then as you can see I've got three pages of labels there now all you want to do is turn your printer on so I'm going to turn my printer on now I won't do it completely now because otherwise it'll overwhelm me speaking um, but I'll do it just after I've rounded off this part of the video so I'm going to turn my printer on I'm going to um, then show you how to label up some stuff I am going to prep some stuff for you as well to show you how I prep some stuff and then we're going to move on to um, doing the boxing up and um, all that sort of stuff and then printing out your UPS um, your UPS and Amazon FBA uh, box labels so yeah I am going to leave it there guys and I will be back with you shortly um, so yeah see you soon guys hi guys so now we've printed our labels out and I'll just show you what those look like on the 27 per page labels hopefully i will leave a link below for the for the labels so then you can get these ones um these ones that are the better ones i feel um i just like the 27 per page they're a good size and um, they always seem, seem to stay within the within the label as well when they get printed out um so yeah without further ado i will just go ahead and label a few of the items now with labeling you need to make sure that the full barcode is covered um, with the F the new FBA barcode. Um, so I will show you how to do that now. Sometimes when you've got three or four pages of these labels, it can take a while to find the right one, um, which is a bit annoying. But I did see that one fairly quickly, so that was okay. Um, yeah, so that's the Where's Wally puzzle. And I've got the barcode there. So there's the there's the original barcode. So I should be able to do this. Right, let's see. Right, let's see if I can't do this. So we want to put that over the original barcode. Just give it a bush down, just so it's nice and firmly on. So there you go. It's over the original barcode. The original barcode can't be scanned now. Um, so when one of the um, guys at the warehouse scan that, they will not scan the, the original barcode, they will scan that barcode we've just put on. So now let's see if I can't find a, another couple for you to do, because uh, for, for me to do, sorry. Um, there was one I saw a minute ago, because I, I wanted to do this one specifically because... I have just, um, hmm, where's it gone? I was going to try and find that one for you because I've just, I don't know if you can see that, but I've just prepped the, these books. So these are new books and I've prepped them with clear cling film, uh, the palette grade stuff, and it's very, very sticky. It sticks to each other, sticks to itself really well. Um, so yeah, that's how I prepped them. Quite easy, to be honest. And I'll just see if I can't find the labels for them, just to quickly label them up. Because I did see it a minute ago. I definitely saw it, so it's it's odd that it's eluding me at the moment. Ah, there we are. There we are, complete road bike maintenance. And this is another thing, actually. Make sure that... Oh, no, where's it gone again? There we go. Um... Make sure that your labels, you are labeling the correct things with the correct labels. That says complete 
road bike maintenance and if I just see this here complete road bike maintenance and then there's the barcode again don't know if you'll be able to see that with the light there's the barcode and we're just going to stick that nice and cleanly over that there so there you go it's still a little, coming up slightly so I'll just rub that a little bit more there we go should be okay now um, it does look like it's coming away actually but it's not it's actually because of the cling film it looks like it's pulling away from the book but it's not um, so that's that one and then I've got another one of those I've got another, I've got two of those books um, so as you can probably tell by now FBA is very good if you've got a hundred of the same product because you've got all the same labels and you don't need to be faffing around with switching products and thinking does this label go on this, this product if you had a hundred of the same product it'd be really really good um, and that's what a lot of people do with FBA they, they go down the wholesale route so there's that one on there, it's a bit skewed with that one but don't worry about it so much if it's slanted or anything like that as long as it's covering up the barcode you're alright um, so yeah a lot of people do wholesale with FBA um, it's a platform that's just built for it basically um, and you can scale it up really really easily if you want to Ooh, that, that, knocking that right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish up labelling my other 70 products or whatever and then I'll be back with you in I don't know 45 minutes something like that um, it depends how long it's going to take me to, to label them all up um, and then what I'm going to show you finally is um, the UPS labels printing them out and uh, the UPS partnered service with Amazon because if you don't know um, UPS are Amazon's partnered shipping service and what that means is if you use UPS um, to send your Amazon shipments to the fulfillment centers you will get a discounted rate and I believe at the moment it's about five pound and three or four pence for a 15 kilogram box so really great the other thing I wanted to want to mention is, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to lift that up, but I use double walled cardboard boxes because they are stronger and they keep your inventory a lot safer in transit. So that's another thing I'd like to mention. So yeah, we'll, I'll get on with the labelling. I'll show you that last part of the U, you know the UPS and um, and um, or what what's the word and uh, printing the labels off and sticking them on the boxes and that's the only that's that's all voice to it really it is quite a simple process it's been quite odd doing this video really because i know it so well now it's like a just a automatic thing and talking about it at every stage is it's so it's really weird it just really is i, I you know i i can't even put into words how weird it is it's just such an automatic process that i do it now that filming it all is is quite odd really but anyway hope you've got something from this video so far guys and i'll be with you in a few more minutes right guys so now everything is labeled this is still the labeling page um we're gonna go on to the next page now so again this little continue button down here and this will create your shipping plan and it will give you this page here which um basically allows you to see whether any of your units within your shipping plan are oversized and will be going to a different shipping center now luckily all 61 uh, 71 units um, are actually going to the same shipping center which is the Bedfordshire sitting the Bedfordshire shipping center if I can even say it right um, so Basically, that's fine. I can send them all off to that one, uh, and that's the usual place where mine goes. Uh, you can also click this button here to view your contents. Um, and once this is all right and you've sorted out any uh, problems, for example, if you've got a, an oversized unit, then you will need to put that in a separate box, so and um, that goes to. Um, the different shipping center um, but because mine's all fine it's all going to the same place I can go ahead and approve the shipment so this is creating the shipment and validating it all, all that sort of stuff
and then this is just an overview of your shipment um, and you want to click this work on shipment button here and this will give you your delivery options now before I go into this I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to show you how I pack in my items um, using void fill and other methods and stuff so yeah I will see you in a minute guys right guys so now I'm going to show you how to pack in your items with void fill so I've got a box full of items here and literally all we're going to do is pack it in with bubble wrap you can also use um, thin sheets of uh, long whole sheets of newspaper should I say um, but today we're going to use bubble wrap so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get this sheet of bubble wrap out Now you can buy bubble wrap and again hopefully there will be a link below um, or you can just scavenge for it basically. So you just want to pack in, so for example if I show you this here, you just want to pack in the areas that are sort of, there's void space basically. So for example mine is, I'll shove a little bit of this down the side here and I'll also shove a little bit of this down the other side as well. So we'll see if I can do this here. And then what I like to do is put a whole sheet. I'll get another sheet because that's all covered in brown paper for some reason. Um, oh, I'll just use my hand. So I think what I'll do is just do two layers because that four or six layers then I did was just too much. So we shall do two layers. There we go. And then we'll pack it in, that's better. And then what you want to do is basically just close up the box with your tape gun. Close up the box with your tape gun. I'm going to do that four times because I don't know if you can see, but there's actually four boxes here. Um, so I'm going to do that four times and then I will show you how to print out your UPS labels I and mean, then I'll quickly finalise the shipment and show you how to, you know, apply them and stuff like that in the correct ways. Um, you may think, why are you showing me how to put a label on a box? But there are some things I do need to note with that. So, yeah, and then after that, all you need to do is book a collection with UPS and you're done. So, yeah, see you in a minute, guys. Hi, guys. So, uh, now we're on this screen and... Basically, this is just the uh, delivery service screen, um, as I paused on before. Uh, yeah, this basically you want you want to select your um, carrier or courier, as I like to say. It says carrier there. I don't know why. Um, and I'd like to use Amazon's discounted service UPS, so that's what I'm using. You can use another courier, um, but with UPS, you will get a discount. Um, I've selected more than one SKU per box because I've got four boxes. You want to put in here box count, weight, etc. Um, so I've got a number of boxes, four. And now all, all I've done here is I buy boxes basically so I know that they're all one size. So I've put in the top here 46, 32 and 30 and that has changed that whole that whole row there to 46 that one to 32 and that one to 30 because they're all a, a standard size um box one you want to put in your weight here your weights are probably going to be different so just ignore that at the top there but um bit for box one it was 5.4 kilos box two is 5.5 box three was six and box four was 12.4 um now i can go down here to delivery charges and calculate a delivery cost so just over here this yellow button click that 
and it will calculate a cost for you. And right now, live, you're going to see that it is fairly cheap um, to send your items. Now, you can see here the billable weight is 39.5 kilos. So you could go up to 39.5 kilos and still have a cost of £14.03. So really, I'm being... Um, quite inefficient here and not as effective as I could be because I'm only using 29 kilos of that total billable weight of 39 kilos um, but at the moment I just want this shipment gone um, so I'm not too worried about that however um, it would be more effective to use the full billable weight or as near to it as possible so that's £14.03 you go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions I would read them before you agree um, but you know what it's like there's a load of small print and stuff like that and no one likes reading the full shabam but um, at least try and read a little bit of it um, and then we want to click here accept charges down here at bottom right so we click that and then finally the delivery labels printing tab will come up now I use one per page labels and then cut them in two um, and you will see that in a minute um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and print the labels and then I will be back with you in a second so again it just pops up a little tab down here pops up and then you uh, open it up um, and this is over three pages I believe four pages um, yeah four pages four boxes um, so I'm gonna print these go ahead and print these and uh, yeah then you will see the finished article so yeah see you in a bit guys right guys so you um, finally want to get some scissors if you are using the one per page labels you can always use the two per page labels if you'd like um, and you want to just cut down the middle so the reason we're doing this is because we don't want the label going over the seam of the box and I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these on the box. I usually do FBA left, no sorry FBA right, UPS left, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'll show you what, again, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute once I've stuck them on. Um, so we're going to have this here. So we're going to get any kinks out really. There's, there's a couple of little bubbles that we've got in there. It's not too bad though. And then finally... They are quite hard to get off sometimes, these, these labels off the page. Because there's not much of a seam to, to get them off. But there we go. And then I'm going to go to the other side of the seam with this one. And again, just give it a nice rub. Apply the sticker very well. So, what I've done, just to show you now, properly, is... I've um, I've missed out the seam. Now the reason I do that is because I just put this down. If I were to get where's my knife gone? If I were to get my knife and I were to cut down that seam, it's not going to cut into the barcode. Um, now we don't want the barcode, this barcode here. I'll just show you again. Actually, I'll show you on here. It's easier. We don't want that barcode there to get defaced in any way because the uh, Amazon FBA need to scan that in to the system so if anyone were to cut along this seam and the barcode was placed right on that seam then it's going to cut through the barcode and it won't scan so that's one thing to to keep in mind put put the um put the labels either side of the box seam um, also, you don't want to cover up the barcode with any tape. I've heard of people doing it and it being okay, but just to be on the safe side, I don't do that. What I do sometimes do, I don't know if I've got any tape around, but I do little thin strips of tape and just on the very edges, I go around the edges very slightly just to keep the label in place. Um, so that's it. 
that's your completed FBA box. I'm going to do this four more times and uh, yeah, then we will go on to scheduling, scheduling a UPS collection, um, which is a very easy thing to do and it's the last step in the FBA process as far as you're concerned. Um, then it's all pretty much to do with Amazon. Um, it's Amazon's job basically. So yeah, I'll just put this box down and I will see you in the next part. Hi guys, so we're on the final part of the process um, and all this screen is, if I just click this go back button here, you'll see that this was the, um, the uh, box weight and all that sort of stuff, that was this page, print your box labels. So I've just gone ahead and this button here now says track shipment down in the bottom right hand corner, but it will say complete shipment for you guys. Um, but I've already clicked it once, so it says track shipment. So I'm going to click that, and then it takes you onto this page. Now this is your tracking numbers here for for each of your boxes. Now we get what? Now we want to go to UPS UK. So all I've done is typed in Google UPS UK, and it's this result here. Ignore this one. This is an ad advert, um, but this second result here. Welcome to UPS, UPS.com, um, and then it, it will be the UK site. Um, so we want to just click that, and then you'll be presented with this page, and you want to go up to shipping then, and then this drop-down menu will appear, and you want to go all the way down to schedule a collection, which I believe is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9th um, option down, schedule a collection. Just want to click that. And then you presented with what looks like quite a um, quite a um, scary looking page, really, but it's not. So what you want to do is you've got these tracking numbers here, right? So you want to input these, copy and paste them over into this little tracking numbers box here. So just do that, and then press enter on, onto a new line, and get your next one. Boom, boom, boom. Do this really quick, you know, it, it's nothing, it's not going to take you forever or anything. So that's there. We're on to the third one. And I am doing this with you, I'm doing this live, I am finishing my shipment up as we speak. Um, so it's quite nice to get my shipment done and be able to talk to you guys at the same time um, now I'm not going to double click in this box because I've got my Google saves my um, my address and everything um, I, I don't know how we do it, it's cookies or something like that but um, you basically put in there your name your contact name, your address that you want, where you want this uh, where you want UPS to, to uh, pick up your your shipment postcode, telephone, all that sort of stuff and then you want to come down to here and you want to put how many packages or how many boxes are in your collection are there one, are there two, three, four, etc for me it's four um, and then the total weight for me was 29.3 kilos so I'm going to round that up to 30 kilograms and then we want to go down here to this drop that outside now I have to do this bit first oh no I know why. I can't do it because I've not put my information in up here. But you want to go down to this drop down menu here and it will give you a, a list of a few different services. You want to click UPS Standard. That's UPS Standard. Uh, and then you want to click if your items weigh more than 32 kilograms. Mine just about don't. Um, so I click no there. And then you can schedule a collection date. Now just remember that um, you can only have intervals of no less than four hours. So, for example, if you wanted it collecting on Tuesday the 2nd of August, you couldn't do 9 till 10 in the morning. You can't do that. You could do, the earliest you could do was 9 till 1, because it always has to be four hours apart. So just remember that as well. And then just click down here, preferred collection location, I usually choose front door, collection reference, uh, I usually put FBA box uh, shipment 12 or whatever. Then you want to go down show collection notifications, put your emails in here, so I would put, I, 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 um, as you can see it's all saved. Um, I would put Addy Robbo, obviously I'm not going to put it five times, but 
I would put Addy Robbo in the first box. And then also I would put my second, uh, well, my other email in this box down here, which is robinsona1001 at gmail.com. If you would like to contact me with any questions or queries, don't contact me on this one here. Please contact me on addyrobbo1996 at gmail.com. Um, for any queries or questions, I'm happy to, to answer them. And then you just want to click this next down here. Now I can't click that because I'm not filled in the details. Uh, even though you just got a glimpse of my details there. But hopefully there wasn't too much revealed. Um, yeah, so then you click next. And all that takes you to is the... Um, basically your collection has been confirmed page. And you don't have to do anything from then on. You're fine. So uh, yeah, that's the full process of FBA. Um, and then obviously here in this bottom right hand corner you can choose to work on a different shipment, on another shipment. So yeah, that is the full process. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. And I'm, I don't think there's anything else I need to show you on camera either. So I think we're done. So yeah, I will see you in the next one guys. Any questions, comments or feedback on this video, please drop that below. I know it isn't the most informative video because I don't know tons about FBA. But I, I am a seller on FBA and I do know bits and bobs so I thought I'd put this video out there for the real real beginners on FBA and I could give a little bit of input for them. So yeah, bye for now guys. Hi guys, it's Adam and I know I just rounded the video off but I just wanted to very quickly say bye to you on camera. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave any feedback, comments or questions below. Don't forget you can contact me via email and my email will be below, um, as well as links to uh, hopefully a lot or all of the products you saw today on the video. Um, and I do have to state that they are Amazon associate links, so I get a small percentage of the money, uh, of the revenue basically, but it comes at no extra cost to you guys. The, the revenue I get comes out of Amazon's pocket, um, but it would really help me out if you so choose to order via those links. 50% um, of the money will go back into creating better content and gain, get, basically getting new equipment and things like that for the YouTube channel. Um, I've already bought uh, editing software and the tripod stand that's sitting there and obviously the external mic. And I do have plans to buy a lot more equipment for the channel. So 50% of the money will go drive back into the channel and then the other 50% will attribute towards reselling activities of my own. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.